I'm going to say welcome and hope that encourages people to come on in and take a seat. There's lots of seats in the middle, so if you don't think there's any, come and fill them in. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to this grand opening celebration and blessing of the building. I'm the Reverend Graham Brown, the lead minister here at Jubilee United Church. Our staff team includes Gabrielle McClarty, our community life minister, Deanna Nivik, our music director, and Jason Meyer, our office and facility coordinator. And they're all around doing the things that they're supposed to do. Though there are probably people I will forget in this list, there are a few people I'd like to acknowledge specifically who are here with us today. Trina Duncan, who's the Executive Minister of Pacific Mountain Regional Council and Chinook Winds Regional Council of the United Church of Canada. The Pacific Mountain Regional Council shares office space with us here in the building. It's great to have a partnership that we continue to build. Deborah Richards is the President of Pacific Mountain Regional Council. We're glad that she's with us. His Worship, Mayor Hurley of Burnaby is with us today. We're glad that you're here. Burnaby Edmonds MLA and the Honourable Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, Raj Shohan, is here with us today and are both going to be speaking and sharing some thoughts. The Reverend Jay Olson, former Minister of South Burnaby United Church, uh, who was incumbent during the development and amalgamation process, is pretty fantastic. There's a number of councillors from the City of Burnaby with us and we're very glad that you joined us. Thank you for doing that. Uh, Dave English, our Development Manager from Townline, is with us. Charlotte, who worked with us for a number of years, was uh, here earlier. I don't think she got back. Uh, and all of you, all of you are special. Uh, relations are our colleagues from within the region. Some have come after doing their own worships this morning. And I'm glad that you've taken the time, instead of taking your post-liturgical nap, to come, <laughs> to come and be here. It just extends it. I promise it won't be too long. We'll get to those soon, friends. Last week, as we were preparing to transition from our rumble site, I acknowledged the loss that some were feeling. I reminded folks that we're not leaving that site, but becoming what we've said for years, we wanted to be one church with two sites. I spoke about the history of that building and reminded folks that the church at the corner of Rumble and Gray had not always been there. In fact, it started at Gilly and Marine until it became evident that the little church needed to move uphill and west closer to the interurban line. So they moved to Clinton and Curra in 1928, had Sunday school at Joffrey and Rumble, built one building at Rumble and Gray, and then moved it across the lane and built the new church that is currently there. The same is to be said for the founding congregation of Jubilee who found themselves here at the corner of Sussex and Grange. It originally started as a Sunday school at Kingsway and Dow, and then two congregations were founded at Marlborough and Kingsway and Sussex and Kingsway. That was before church union, so two churches only a couple blocks apart was pretty normal. One was Presbyterian, one was Methodist. They both became United Church congregations in 1925 when union happened, and in 1936 they amalgamated, and they moved into the building on this site. In 1948, the former building that was on this site was built. At that time, the previous church was converted to a church hall, which was then again replaced in 1956. We have always been a people on the move. Both of our founding congregations had plans for future generations, not just themselves. A decade ago, conversations began about the property here where we find ourselves today. In those con conversations, the founding congregations of Jubilee United began to think about the future, what it would look like to build anew on a same space, but think about how ministry would look different in the future and what we might bring to this place. As we amalgamated, it continued to be part of the call and purpose of this congregation. We as a community could not have done what we've done without support from so many. 
we truly did build a partnership with the regional council, then called BC Conference. They provided upfront funding for the feasibility study and for staff who helped lead the process to get us to this point. And now they are an anchor partner in this building as we figure out how to use it for the best of its capability. Those early conversations and assistance connected us with Townline. And in 2015, Dave Inglis joined the team and has stayed with us through countless meetings, hundreds of thousands of emails probably, and came to put this building together along with a whole bunch of support within that organization. It's almost unreal to recognize that we're here today. Finally, opening this building, which has been a dream for over a decade. We're grateful for the city of Burnaby, for those who have helped us achieve this vision and goal, for the staff there who have moved us forward, and maybe most importantly, for members of Jubilee United Church and the founding congregations, then Donald Methodist and United Church, Henderson Presbyterian, Jubilee Methodist, South Burnaby United Church, West Burnaby United Church, it is only because of the vision of those in the past that we're able to do what we do today, reminded of that which takes us into consideration for future generations, because it's not about us, friends. It is about those who come after, and you'll see over on the side here some of those generations which are part of the church now and will continue to be the church in the future. We have been abundantly blessed and we as a community are grateful. We're grateful that His Worship, Mayor Mike Curley, is with us to bring greetings and remarks. Good afternoon, everyone, and it's so good to be here. Um, what a fantastic what a fantastic facility you now have here. So uh, we're just glad to be here to celebrate with you all. Before I start, I'd just like to acknowledge we're on the unceded traditional territories of the Hunkamainam and Squahimi speaking people and to give appreciation for the opportunity to hold these events on this territory. Um, I would also like to introduce some of my council colleagues and I hope I don't miss any of them. Uh, Councillor Mike Hillman I see there. Councillor James Wang is beside Councillor Hillman. Any other councillors here? Oh, Councillor Joe Keithley is here with us today. And of course, Rod Shohan, you'll be hearing from in a, in a few minutes. But what an exciting day for our community and the Jubilee United Church uh, congregation. I should mention that uh, when I automatically heard Jubilee United Church, I went to the other location. <laughs> and uh, so, so it just goes to show you we are a congregation that has two parts. So. Uh, but uh, we have been to so many events over there that that was the automatic. Congratulations, and I wish you the very best in your new home. Jubilee United Church has had roots in the Burnaby community for well over 100 years, and we are pleased to be here to, as you mark the beginning of a, of a new chapter, a new exciting chapter. This is a new location that's been a long time coming, as, as you mentioned. It was a dream, but the wait is well worth it. Fantastic location. I don't think you could select a better location within the city of Burnaby now. And uh, we're just, it's just uh, thrilling to see it here. Jubilee United Church will continue to be a pillar of this community long after many of us are gone. And that's what's really what it's all about. But thank you again for inviting us to participate in this celebration. We're just glad to be here and join with you all. And it's great to see the kids here too. Thank you. I'd like to invite forward the Honorable Raj Shohan, the MLA and Speaker of the Legislative Assembly. Good afternoon. Congratulations on behalf of the Legislative Assembly of British Columbia and Premier John Horgan. It's wonderful to see people still going to church. You know, sometimes we feel that, are people really forgetting where we come from, who we are, what we do, what the community is all about? Church is the one which brings us together. 
I have a long history with United Church. In 1985, United Church sponsored my trip to the Philippines to go on a fact-finding mission when Marcos was the dictator in the Philippines. I almost got killed there because I, when I was going into small village, even though I was told that you have to stay in the church, you can't go outside after six o'clock in the evening, but I was so young and stupid, I said, no, no, I'm gonna go find out. Then I realized armed people were there, you know, they were just pointing guns and all that. So, but I want to say thank you to United Church for giving me that opportunity to go see what happens in the world. Why we stand together to make sure there's a democracy in the world. Why we do what we do here in Canada, such a beautiful country, democratic country. Sometimes we go on Canada Day on July 1st, we do our day's events and we think we have done for democracy, that's it. Democracy is not just one day event. Democracy is everyday event. We have to stand together to make sure people's rights, people's, um, you know, where they live, their human rights are protected. Today we are also thinking about, talking about 911, 21 years ago. Thousands of people lost their lives needlessly. So all those events in the world reminds us that there's one place we can go together and think and share our ideas and views to protect each other, to help each other, that's the church. I want to say thank you so much for inviting me. I'm so honored. Again, congratulations. This is a beautiful building. And thanks to the city of Burnaby, uh, Mayor Hurley. I also want to share something with you about Mayor Hurley. Yesterday, he was acclaimed to be the mayor for the next four years. Nobody ran against him. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike, because Mike has done such a wonderful job in the last four years. I'm sure he will be an outstanding mayor uh, uh, to continue to be our mayor. Thank you so much. I'm so honored. God bless. And Ms. Trina Duncan, the Executive Minister of Chinook Winds and Pacific Mountain Regional Councils of the United Church. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor and a privilege to be with you today to celebrate the completion of this beautiful new space for worship and work. Being here together today is a culmination of many years of dreaming and no small amount of work. On behalf of the region, I would like to thank Reverend Graham Brown Miller and the Congregation of Jubilee United and the countless others whose work has brought us here today for all that you have done to make this vision a reality. Graham, we did it. <laughs> there have been some challenges along the way and you have worked through those challenges with grace to ensure the best outcomes for all of us. The Regional Council, for those of you who don't know, is made up of all of the congregations in British Columbia and the Yukon. Our long-term lease was expiring on our office space and we were looking for a new home. Conversations began with the then congregation of West Burnaby about redevelopment of their space and the idea of a partnership was born. I know many of us in the congregation and the region have attended lots of meetings to get us to this point, but what a great day to be here celebrating this new space now. But more than that, we're also celebrating this opportunity for ministry together. I know that there will be some growing pains along the way as we learn how to live and work together, but I'm equally sure that we will serve our community better because we are doing it together. We at Pacific Mountain Region are committed to being in partnership with you as we go forward to realize our mutual ministries. When the word church comes up in conversation, the first image that pops into our mind is one of a building. 
We have this mindset that church is a place we go. We get our family dressed, we fight through traffic, we find a good seat, and it's easy to lose fight of the fa- sight of the fact that we aren't just going to church, we are, in fact, the church. As Reverend Graham reminded us this morning, this ministry of ours is far more than a building. In the book of Timothy, Paul describes the church as people dedicated to doing whatever it takes to reach out and help others. We have a responsibility to serve and help others in need as the church. Caring for each other as well as those outside of the church is the quickest way to see lives changed. In the Bible, the church is always a reference to people, not place. The church is a body of believers that live out the gospel in their words and actions. The church is at its best when the people inside the building go outside the building and love those they meet. May it be so. And so today we celebrate this wonderful accomplishment of the completion of this new space. And now we, Jubilee United and Pacific Mountain Region, begin the work of being the church and building ministry here on the corner of Sussex Avenue. Thank you. Last month, the United Church of Canada elected a new moderator and installed her into her role. Uh, We have received a letter from the 44th moderator of the United Church of Canada, the Right Reverend Dr. Carmen Lansdowne. While she provided a letter, uh, which we're working on figuring out the generic letters, she asked me to verbally acknowledge and thank the Pacific Mountain Regional Council, which has allowed her an office in their portion of the space upstairs. She recognizes a special connection to this building and this community of faith. Unfortunately, the moderator is unable to be with us today because of other commitments. But what she writes is, I'm happy to learn of the grand opening of the new Sussex building of Jubilee United Church on September 11, 2022. I want to express to you on behalf of the United Church of Canada our deep joy at this vibrant and tangible expression of your ministry and mission in God's world. The successful completion of a redevelopment is the culmination of years of work, planning, budgeting, and fundraising, oftentimes done in the background by a small group of dedicated servant leaders. We offer our congratulations to you on the significant milestone in your life as a community of faith. As we celebrate with you the life and witness you have shared in the past, we also offer encouragement for the future as one church with two buildings. May you continue to shine Christ's light in the world among the people and communities you serve. I hope you have a wonderful celebration, and I send you best wishes and greetings from our house to yours. At the Congregational Meeting of Jubilee United Church in March, on March 15th of this year, uh, we passed a motion to disband the development team, the folks who had served within the congregation to come to this point, to bring to fruition. And so any of you who are here that were part of that development team, I invite you just to stand so folks can recognize you and the work that you uh, offered to this as well over those many years. So while we disbanded the committee then, we get to actually thank them today. A favorite hymn of this community, uh, Faith is All Are Welcome, which speaks of an abundance of welcome and steadfast love of God. We're going to sing two verses together. You can stand if you want. You can stay seated. The words are on the screens. If you want a hymn book, they're there. Or just listen and enjoy what is to come. Let's sing together verses two and five. What did you do with your hymn books? There's a book rack back there. If someone can bring in more voices. Run it. Run it. No. More voices. More voices. The other book. That one. Thanks, Bruce. All right. Number one. Let's sing.
Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong and true. Where all God's children dare to seek, to dream God's reign anew. Hear the cross of stand as witness and a symbol of God's grace. Hear as one we claim the faith of Jesus. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where all our name and thoughts and visions heard, and loved and treasured, taught and claimed as words within the word. Built of tears and cries and laughter, prayers of faith and bones of grace. Let this house proclaim from floor to rapture, all are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. O creator of all life, you have promised to be present whenever two or three are gathered in your name. By the power of your spirit, we dedicate this place of worship and ministry. Bless us and sanctify what we do here that this place may be holy for us and for all people. Guide and empower the proclamation of your word and the celebration of your sacraments the pouring out of prayer and the singing of your praise, the professing of faith and the witnessing to your grace, the teaching and learning of your love and care for all creation, the blessing of covenants made by your people, the celebration of death and resurrection. Co-workers with you, may we share these, your blessings, with all the world. Amen. Jesus said, listen, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with you. The original plan was for us to go from room to room, blessing each space. Uh, unfortunately, I made that impossible. <laughs> and so, hi. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we have pictures that are going to come up of each of the spaces that we're going to offer a blessing of starting with that front door. God is our beginning and our end. May God accompany all our going out and our coming in. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. God is the God of all. No matter the age of the users of these rooms or the business that is at hand, may it be paperwork, meetings, play, or learning, may God bring joy to all who use these spaces. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. The offices, God is the source of all wisdom. May God enlighten our hearts and minds in our pilgrimage of life and faith. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. The kitchen, kitchenette and lounge. God gives us food in due season and fills us with all good things. May the food we prepare and eat here be a welcome offering for Christ, our constant guest. And may the banquet table we have been invited to be a place where all can eat their fill. Thanks Thank be to God. God. Amen. Amen. And the essential in each building, the washrooms, God gives water for life and health to refresh and to cleanse. May God give us health of body and wholeness of being. 
Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Amen. Amen. And this place, the worship space, this multi-purpose room, the sanctuary, how good it is when God's people live together in unity. God guides the pilgrim and befriends the stranger. May we welcome others into this place with the hospitality we would extend in welcoming Christ. May all who sit or talk, work or rest, preach or read or pray, grow in faith, in hope, and in love. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus the Christ, and by the authority of the Pacific Mountain Regional Council of the United Church of Canada, I declare this house to be known as Jubilee United Church and the buildings and furnishings dedicated to the service of God. We We dedicate dedicate ourselves ourselves to to follow Christ, Christ, promising to care for this building and its furnishings for the glory and service of God. Peace be to all who worship here. Peace be to all who enter here and to all who go out from here. Peace be to all who love this place and who love the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. He wasn't that much shorter than if we had to go from room to room. (laughs) (laughs) Friends, we are so grateful for your presence with us today as we open this building and dedicate it to the glory of God in this part of the city. As you leave from this place, know that you are always welcome, just as you are, to any of our events, to worship, to meals, to communities, There are many things happening this coming fall, and we invite you to keep an eye on our website. You're welcome to stick around for a while, visiting with each other. We'll give tours of the offices upstairs if you'd like. You can check out all of the spaces, talk to people who were here this morning, and see what was going on, even though we know that some of you have already been here for a number of hours. You have made this day what it needs to be, so we thank you for being here, and we thank each and every person that has participated in bringing this to fulfillment over these past number of years. Thanks be to God for this day and for each of you. Amen. Amen. So that's it. (laughs) Thank you.